Hey everyone, and welcome to the live stream. Um, again, another session of building Hogwarts Castle. Uh, on the left, you can see uh, my desk or part of the desk on which I'm building the castle. So you can notice that we've already built the um, Chamber of Secrets, or at least part of it. And we've also created an entrance here. I'll lift this up to the camera where you can see this door with the snakes on it that will lead to the Chamber of Secrets. Um, here you see the diary of um, uh, Tom Riddle. That's what the uh, black uh, tile represents. And today we're going to build more of the entire mountain um, on top of which Hogwarts Castle sits. So it means we're going to open up some more bags with, um, uh, with elements. Well, we've got a lot of these triangle pieces that will help um, simulate the rocks and the, um, the grass. We've got some more of those slightly bigger elements. Same thing, it's the rocks and the plants. Put that here. There we go. And we've got some proper regular bricks here in this bag. Put that here. I'm going to add those to the existing structure. <clears throat> and then we've got some miscellaneous small stuff. I'm just going to put here as well. Hey, good morning, Louis. Lewis is probably how you pronounce that in English. Um, and then I also need uh, special mountain bricks. These are uh, like pretty big ones. Let me get them first. Those are actually really old bricks. They're not used that much in, in Lego sets anymore. They were used in the past a, a lot in um, uh, I think more medieval builds. And they're a bit, um, let's say, shortcuts. So normally you'd, you'd build everything with uh, regular bricks. These ones are hollow on the inside. I'll show you that. So on the outside you see uh, kind of rock type structures, but on the other side, it's empty. And so these ones help you to build volume very, very quickly without having to spend a fortune on regular bricks. So we need four of those. One, two, three, four. And in this case, it's also going to uh, help lighten the load of the of the total build. Because otherwise, if you would do this with uh, full-sized, you know, solid bricks, the entire structure would become very, very heavy. For those of you that are watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for uh, stopping by. It's not live. I haven't found... Uh, a solution yet to um, do a simultaneous stream both to YouTube and to Facebook. But I've noticed that at least some people seem to enjoy this. It's a very slow process. It's kind of, you know, a slow build. Hopefully it's a bit relaxing. Um, and I, I, I can see the comments if you post something um, then I can still get back to your comments on, on Facebook as well. All right, we've got all the ingredients for um, today's build. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, continue to build the Chamber of Secrets because, of course, you've got the big snake, the uh, obelisk. But we need um, tiny snakes as well. If you remember in the movie, it's this long corridor 
and it, there are kind of statues of or bronze or, or or stone with these snakes. And so we've got, uh, let me show this to the other camera, we've got these snake ornaments. I'm not sure if they are part of another set as well or whether this was created specifically for uh, for this build. We need um, these lantern pieces. Um, trying to move the camera a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Um, and as always, in the meantime, feel free to add your, your comments to the chat on Facebook. I'll be able to see them and respond to that. I'm only now back from church, actually. I had Mass this morning in two parishes, or two, yeah, actually two parishes, <laughs> two different parishes, um, two churches, and then I had to do some other stuff. So I'm only now back home. And the sun is already setting. It's still uh, uh, winter time, so I think, well, it's it's at the horizon right now, but I think it it'll still uh, take about four forty five minutes before it goes down. So I'll have enough light to uh, to do this. Hey Elton and hi Jeff. Jeff is from Indonesia, and uh, that's awesome. So I guess it's evening over there, and Elton is I think from the Netherlands. Welcome to the live stream. Glad you could join us. All right, so we're first going to put together these uh, pieces with the snakes. I need four of those. Of course, it's kind of like a simplified version of what you see in the movie. There's another one. I'll just put them so that you can see them. Oh, Elton is from Aberfort, the nicest city of the country. Um, and then we're going to place those on both sides of the of the alley. Um, let's see, this one goes here, right? That's actually very simple. Just put them in place. I love the detail in this uh, in this set. It's unbelievably well constructed, have with l tiny details and very simple tricks. They still evoke a lot of the castle itself. It's very well done. All right, that's in place. Then we um, continue to complement that with triangular pieces. We need four of these, and then four light brown pieces as well. Put those here, and they're just outside of your view, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to put these two on top of the snakes. <clears throat> And Michael is also joining us. Good morning. Michael is in Louisiana. I hope you're not suffering too much from the extreme cold in the United States. I heard that there's actually this cold streak with temperatures far be below zero. That, of course, is nice if you're inside, not if you're living outside. But when the weather is cold outside, hot cup of chocolate. <laughs> and Jeff wants to know what Lego uh, series this is. This is the uh, Hogwarts castle. Um, I guess if you Google Hogwarts castle, Lego, you'll find the, um, the specifications. Uh, put these on here. It's a very big build. 
6,000 pieces or something like that. Laura is also there. Good morning, Laura. She's from South Carolina. How's the weather in South Carolina? Hopefully not as cold as in other parts of the US. We actually finally have some some below freezing point temperatures this uh, this week. And we're going to get snow on Tuesday. Five centimeters of snow. I don't know how much that is in inches. But it's going to be the first snow of the year. Then we need this bridge and three uh, brown ones, I guess. One, two three okay where do we put that okay I see so well, this one goes on top of the middle structure and then we add how many Interesting. One, two, and three. So this one is not symmetrical. Interesting. There we go. Let me show this to the camera because you're seeing the back of this build. So, oops. Now you see that the, the whole thing is coming together. You see the snakes on both sides of the of the the entrance there you see the statue in the back and the big the green snake coming out of that now we are going to use some smaller pieces um, one of these one of these and this one Okay, put these two together. There we go. And where do I put this one? This one goes on the left. Yep. And this one is going to solidify this structure on the right. Nice. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're creating uh, like small uh, kind of irregularities in the color, so it looks more natural, I guess, or older. Little tricks with uh, color. Oh, now we're going to finally do some rock work. I was looking forward to that. Yeah, that's that's the Lego set. There's also a play set, which is a lot simpler, and it's just the big hall. And it uses the regular mini figure scale. This is what they call micro scale. So the the inhabitants of Hogwarts, the students, are tiny, super, super tiny. Like for instance, this this is one of the students. That's how small he is. It's kind of hard to show you because it's so tiny. So this this is a student <laughs> of Hogwarts. All right. Well, let's first. Try to finish uh, their uh, their building. We got two of these. This is a lot of tiny work. This, I guess. One of these. Always first gathering all the the pieces of one step, so I don't skip any inadvertently. Four of these. Three. Of these, two of these, one brown one, yes, and one green one. Oh, and also a clamp. All right. First of all, start on this side. This is going to look so pretty when it's finished. Actually, part of what makes this set so great is the uh, the rock. The fact that it's not just the building itself, but it's the entire 
structure, the entire uh, landscape around the castle that makes it so fascinating. All right, so this is the first part. Then we're going to add some more stones here. Try to show you on camera from up above what I'm doing. One, and then one here. The bigger one on the side. An extra brown one here. And that's it. And then the final step, we add, oh, wait, first this. Here I have to really pay attention. Before you know it, you skip a detail. And it's going to be really hard to find out which one I forgot. Hold on, do that in the right order. This one first. Other way around. There we go. This gray one here. There we go. And what else have we left? Oh, we've got this. No. Wait a minute. Oh, I've already used two. Wait, no. One too many. Um, one more here. This is going to take quite a while, all these rocks. <laughs> there we go. This is in place. And where do I put that little clamp? That one is supposed to go right here. Okay. There we go. So this is the end result. It's part of the of the rock, and it's got three different colors. Very nice. Okay, that's element number one, and we're immediately going to place this, which is really nice, in front of the Chamber of Secrets. Pay attention as to where I'm positioning this. Um, okay, this one here. Yeah, that's it. Let's see if it fits. Apply some pressure here. There we go. Yep. It's a very tight fit, but it works. It works. Whoa, nice. I love it. Now this starts to really uh, improve already. With the rock and then the entrance. There you go. Very cool. But of course, this is only the beginning. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> <laughs> with all these rocks. <laughs> um, let's gather some more elements. We have one of these, two of these, one green one, and this. Okay, this is just to top it off even more. I'm going to put the manual elsewhere. I'm constantly having to look the other way. See if I can put that here. No, it's going to fall. I'm going to put it on the keyboard. Hopefully, I won't. Pr I won't press any buttons inadvertently. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's a lot better. Now I can see clearly. I can see clearly now. Yes, the Chamber of Secrets, indeed. There we go. One. And two. Okay, what else? Now I have to figure out which other elements are added in the picture. This one. And oops, 
For some reason, my MacBook Air constantly wants to go in sleep mode, probably because I'm not typing or anything. There we go. And then I've got this last element. Where <laughs> do I put this? It's not this one. One and two. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Good. All right, that one's finished. Then next, take another one of these, plus two green ones, three of these triangles, one green, another clamp, one gray, one brown, and one longer triangle. There we go, same story. We'll put this one here. The green one goes here. Now these kind of prefab uh, rock pieces are speeding up the build tremendously. So I'm glad that they actually <laughs> took these out of retirement. As I mentioned before, they're hardly used anymore in, in modern Lego sets. They, they are really, really useful for this kind of stuff. I have some of these older ones um, <clears throat> in dark gray and white, and that is also super helpful if you want to create, for instance, like a snowy mountains or like a set that looks more like something from the Alps. Sometimes people will build, will actually buy two of these sets and then uh, take elements from one set to expand the build. Because this is, of course, even though this is a, a big chunk of Hogwarts, actual castle is a lot bigger. Um, but of course, Lego never designed it. So with these, uh, by buying a, a supplemental set, they can use those elements to create um, their own versions, actually, of this castle. And that's, that's something I would love to do in the future. Kind of see if I could ex can expand this to the entire castle. But that, of course, requires a lot of creativity uh, and a lot of uh, know-how on how to do these, you know, these mock-up sets. Ooh, okay. I'm going to move the manual to the other side again because <clears throat> it's a little bit too much. What is this? I need to move this around. Oh, wait a minute. I have to place that rock as well, I think. The one we just built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. So we turn this around. And then this one has to somehow be placed here. Oh. Whoa. No, that's not right. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta turn it even more. <laughs> there we go. Yes. And then what? <clears throat> this is that. This is that. Oh, okay. We're gonna put that one here. This side. Show you what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay. This should be it, I think. Yes. There we go. That's in place as well. Now we're going to use. Uh, this and this and this. Yes. 
Okay. Well, that's very simple. <laughs> this is the easiest step so far. There we go. Uh, let me take one of these. One of these. One of these. This and this ugly green one for some reason. Um, okay. Take this and add this green one here. There we go. The red brick is for reference. Um, so is the green one. There we go. More one, two of these, and one of these. Very good. Goes here. And one here. And this one. There we go. Very good. It's not as complicated as I feared it would be. I'm going to have this done in no time. Yep. Looks okay to me. And this one is going to be added to the side of the castle again. The question is where exactly? Uh, it's, oh, it's going to fill in the gap. So let me show you that. Here are the two sides of the of the rock, and this part is going to close the gap. And let's make sure I do that correctly. Um, this is the clamp. And then uh, that one. There we go. Fits like a glove. Very cool. Yep. Let's press it down. Of course, the rock has to be super solid. There we go. Now we've got one side of the rock already in place. That was a very quick build. So there you go. Doesn't it look pretty? Very, very cool. And as you can tell on the other side, it's empty. Or hollow, I should say. Next. Even more smaller decorations we need. One. Uh, ooh. Dark green one, white one, green one, and a green. There we go. Uh, this is going to be super tiny. It's such a big manual that I have to press the pages down to be, to be able to see the the details. Um, look at this. It's on top of it. Yep. Mm, that one goes on the side. Let me turn this around again. There's a lot of turning and spinning. That's going to be more tricky when the structure is going to grow in size. Uh,
And there we go. I've got these pieces. Where do they go? Oh. Under the clamp. Okay. That would be right here. Oh, that's the wrong one. The dark green one. I actually should have a camera mounted on my forehead <laughs> to show you what I'm doing. And uh, so these details, this is such a puzzle to figure out where I should go. I think this one goes here. Very good. And now we've got one green element left. Okay, well, that's here on the side. Yeah, that's it. Very good. All right, some more. Um, one, two, and we've got a bright yellow brick here. Okay. This is also to strengthen the construction, I guess. Where does that go? Oops. Wait a minute. Did I miss a step? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how much attention you have to pay. I forgot to gather an extra element. So this on top of this. Yes. Very well. And then the yellow brick goes here. Now we've got these cornerstones and they are probably put in place as a preparation for something else that we're going to build very soon. There we go. Looks like parts of another room here. Not sure which one. I'm going to, back, going to go back to the um, rock elements. We got two green ones, three gray ones. of these and one of these. Uh, there we go. Green here. And on the left side. There we go. Nice. This is actually very quick. It's a variation on the same element that we built earlier on. Wow, we're really speeding up here. That's it. Whoa, look at how fast this is finished. There we go. Okay. So a little bit more of the... I thought this would take so much more time. So this is the element that we added here. I totally thought this was going to take forever to build this rock. i got to hurry up because the sun is really going to set any time now. And then I'll be out of light. And if I'm out of light, 
I can't really tell what I'm doing anymore. Uh, two of these, three green ones. It's already hard because the sun, the sun is very yellow right now. So it makes it hard to distinguish between green and gray here on the table. Two small ones and one of these. That's it, and one clamp. All right. There we go. Let's see if I can move that a little bit. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish this before the sun sets. Got a bad feeling about this. Um, there we go. And that one is supposed to go on this ledge here. Other way around. There we go. Ah, this is really starting to look good. Now I've got some smaller stuff, some of the details. Have a good mass. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. This one up here. There we go. I've got some smaller stuff left. Ah, I see. Right, 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 right. This one goes on top of that one. This one behind it, and then we've got a clamp, which we place right here. Ouch. And I've got one more stone left. One tiny detail, but where does it go? Oh my goodness. Wow, where does that go? I got this one. I can't figure out where I should add it. This one here. This one. Oh, here. Uh, it's hiding. Totally different part of the structure. I was looking at the rock face. There we go. Good. All right, next rock element. And the sun is almost down. Uh-oh. All right, let's see how far we can go. How far we can cut this here. Mm, a red one. That's interesting. One green, one gray, red, and that is hopefully beige. Hard to tell. Two of those and one of these. There we go. Okay, one more. This one, two. <laughs> I can see the sun disappearing behind uh, behind the buildings in the village. One, two, three. Yes. Four. Five. Um. Six. 
six and there we go. I think that's it. That one is going to be added here. Wow, look at how fast this is growing. Hey, Maria. <laughs> Mark is also watching. It's Maria's grandson. And he is nine years old. Hi, Mark. We're building Hogwarts Castle here. So, check it out. We've made some really good progress here. Let me show the camera. So, look. This is the entire surrounding rock wall. Unbelievable how fast we've been able to build this. Next. Actually, what I can do is, that's one of the advantages, I can switch to the entire table. Let's, let's change the scenery a little bit. You can see a little bit more of what I'm building here. You'll only hear my voice, but that's not a problem. You know what I look like? Um, put the castle on the side. Take one and three of these. Plus, that is a brown brick and one gray brick. Yes. This is just some extra finesse that we add to the build. Uh, there we go. Hmm. All right. Where does it go? I'm going to turn this around again. There we go. Goes inside here. Well, that's tricky really put any pressure on it. There we go. I think that's it. I hope so. Uh, what else do we have? One more here. Uh, put Huh. There we go. Nice. I apologize, you're only seeing the <laughs> the back of, of what I'm doing. Now, in a minute I'll show you a bit the, the end result. Let's see the gray ones. It's kind of a race against the clock right now. Uh -huh. There we go. One here. And I've got uh, This one here. There we go. So it's even prettier now. So this is the decoration that we've uh, added. And you can tell it looks very natural with all these protrusions and little patches of green. It's very, very pretty. Another rock element. One, two, 
registry four two of these two green ones yeah I don't want to forget any any elements this one and one brown one okay good here we go again put a green one here another green one here this brown one here this green triangle here yeah and that's it then this one Yes, that's it for this step. Yep, uh, this one there, a green, dark green triangle on top of this rock. So it's uh, probably indicating moss. This here and this here. There we go. That's another one finished. Nice. Um, okay. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, this is it, and it tells me, wait a minute, that's weird. There's supposed to be a yellow brick there too, which is not in place. Did I skip that? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, shoot. Where's the other yellow brick? That's weird. I somehow, I think I skipped a step. Whoa, this is weird. Ah, yep, 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 yep. You see how much attention you have to pay? Crazy. I forgot this yellow brick in another step. Because it was on the, on the kind of on the fold of the paper. So these manuals are so thick that I can't really always tell what's going on on the right side of the page. That's why I was missing this. Okay. Well, that was still a quick catch and it's not much of a problem. This one goes here. So Mark, do you build Lego too? I think I was nine when I was at the peak of my Lego career. <laughs> I was always playing with Legos. Okay, we're, we're getting there. One, two, uh, this one. A green one. And one of these. I think that's it. Yes. All right. Interesting. <laughs> Mark loves to build, according to Maria.
What's his favorite set? What's the nicest thing he has built so far, in his opinion? Okay, where do I put that? Hold on. This one goes here. There we go. He completed a large Hogwarts for Christmas. Oh, cool. Does he have the like the big hall with the all the minifigures? Because that's a very, very nice set. Pretty big one, too. One more. Here. And then where do I put the blue stuff? The blue stuff goes here. And here. Okay. Interesting. So, I made some more progress. The hall with the figures. Yeah, I love that one. And it's got all the important characters. Look how beautiful this this looks now. It's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. All right, next, 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 next. We got two, two, two of these with the glass panes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're it's a beautiful build, and the flags, of course, of the houses, the various houses. There we go. Um, I'm so glad that we have these yellow, these brightly colored bricks because they are a really handy reference where I, where I have to put certain things. Um, ooh. Wait a minute. I'm missing something. Oh, okay. I think I forgot something. No, I think this one must be here, so this one can go on top of that. Yep. Well, hopefully <laughs> I didn't make any mistakes. <laughs> This is such a large build. It's very easy to skip small details. <clears throat> <coughs> but we're almost there. Almost there. Two of these, one of these, one of these. Okay. Where does all that stuff go? We have a green one. We're ne we're uh, getting closer to the boathouse. Move the manual again so I, I can see what I'm doing. I think this, I hope so. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. I see, I see, I see. This one here. Wow, I really have to pay attention here what I'm doing. Huh. 
Huh. Okay. Like that. Where does this one go? Nah, that can't be. Is this it? That is so weird. Huh, I, I hope this was... <laughs> I hope this is correct, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's that's the right thing. I think that's the right thing. Two more rock elements. These are easy. Uh, two gray ones. One of these. Oh, three actually. Three of these. Um, and one. One of these. Here we go again. Oh wait, this one. Mm. There we go. If you want to see the previous episodes of this series, so um, the steps before this one, uh, you can go to YouTube to uh, youtube.com slash Father Roderick and that's where I've posted all the episodes so far um, yep. That's done. I'm going to put that one in place. Pay attention. Think, yeah, this is it. Wow, uh, it looks really, really cool. Yep, awesome. Check this out. They've got the the boathouse there, and then behind it, we now have already part of the mountain, and there's going to be a path that leads up the mountain to Hogwarts Castle that is going to go on top of this. Very pretty. Almost there. Some final details. Um, a green one. Yes. Two of these. One a stone colored one or sand colored one. That's new. One of these, this one, and this one. Okay. I'm going to add to the um, boathouse section here. So we start with this. No, wait a minute. Let's do let's do this differently. Let's first add this. Then we've got this color. There we go. Oops. Huh. This looks weird. No, 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 actually that's... Oh, that's part of the path. Ah, the sand color is going to be the path. How awesome. Very, very nice. All right. Mm -hmm. 
this, this, the slope. Ooh, there should be something here. Wow. But how? That doesn't look right. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. Huh? Oops. Okay, I think I made another mistake here. Mm. Perhaps this is, is an older mistake. Uh, recognize this. Okay, we've got this, we got that one. And there should be one here. But that doesn't seem to fit. That's crazy. What is missing here? I think this is an older mistake that I made. Or wait a minute. No, 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 no. Huh? What? That is so weird. Huh. Oh, perhaps. Perhaps I have to move this. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I made a mistake a while ago. That's why I can figure it out. This one has to go here. Huh. Wow. I was utterly confused. Now, now this, this makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Now it's good. That one goes here, and then I still have this one, which is supposed to go here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we solved. <laughs> we solved it. Uh. Mark has you pulled up now. He cannot believe I have been listening to your podcast since before he was born. <laughs> yeah, cool, isn't it? All right, let me switch back to both cameras again. Oh, I still need to find a place for this one. Hmm. Not this, not this. Boy, this is hard. Um, I think this is where it should go. Yep, there we go. <laughs> and someone is typing in, in Dutch. And then it is uh, being changed in English. I don't know. It's probably your spell checker <laughs> that is, or autocorrect. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to choose. I have to pick a language, and English is what most of my followers speak. So I can't really speak Dutch as well because then everybody's going to get confused. But don't worry. Okay, take a look at the color of those bricks. This, yeah.
Well, it gets more and more tricky. What? Oh. One. And then this one next to that. There we go. Another sand colored one. There we go. And one last piece. I think this. I hope so. Wow, this is really tricky, this. Okay, almost there. Another sand colored one, a corner, and uh, another brown one. We're going to continue the path up the mountain. All right, this is easier than it looked. Um, there we go. So let me show you what they're doing. This is so clever. You know that from the boathouse, if you arrive as a student at Hogwarts, you have to go to the entrance of the castle. But how do you create, how do you simulate a path? Well, just by using this slightly lighter color. So here you go up and then you can tell that the road is going up and up. And they're just using these sand colored, colored bricks to create that effect. It's very clever. Okay. getting darker and darker in the room so if I can add some extra light unfortunately that's also yellow light which makes it so hard to distinguish the colors there we go but I think we're gonna be fine this one first Mm -hmm. There we go. Next, one, two, three, four, okay, mm -mm Right. And the final rock element. Let me switch back to the full view. This is the final one that we're going to build today. One of these. Two of these. One green. This. And this. Okay, here we go, one, and uh, two. The clamp goes here on the side. These clamps will actually later on hold the trees. It's another very smart way of putting trees in places where you actually can't really build them. go. Oh. 
Yep. My stomach is telling me that it is also time to <laughs> go to the kitchen and prepare some food. It is 20 past 5. And uh, because of church and the stuff that I had to do right after church, uh, I didn't have time to eat uh, lunch. So that's why my stomach is now protesting. <laughs> it's growling. Let's turn that. Um... There we go. And then the final pieces. Let's see. One, two, two of these, one clamp and one green one. Huh. I have an extra piece. <laughs> Oh, I hope I didn't forget anything. Well, we'll go double check later on. Let's first finish this. The advantage is this is all kind of decoration, so it's really hard to notice if you, if you make small mistakes. It'll still look pretty good, thankfully. But I'm a perfectionist. Okay, this is again going to be quite tricky. This one is in place, this one Uh huh. We put a clamp there. Uh, where exactly we put that here? I'll show you in a second what it looks like. And one goes here. Green one here. Yes, and then we've got this corner element left. Where does that go? I guess up here, probably. Yes, there we go. I hope that's it. I've got one stone, one brick left. Um, so I now have to go back in the manual and see if I can find the place where I forgot about that one. Uh, step 142. Mm. No, that one's in place. You know what? I think this is just a leftover piece, actually. Yeah, it's just probably some leftover stuff. Nothing to worry about. It looks pretty solid so far. Yeah, I'll double check some other time. So, this is the result of today's building session. Turn that towards the camera. So here we have the boathouse, and you can tell that on both sides you now have the rock. Then we did this entire wall. It goes all the way to the back of this. And then we go even further. This is 
where we have the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets with on this side the snakes, statues of the snakes and the big statue with the obelisk coming from it and then here is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets so I, I assume that later on there will be some kind of connection between these two. So very nice. I'm very glad with the end result. Thank you so much for stopping by and um, thanks for uh, uh, accompanying me in this new step of the Hogwarts Castle. There will be many more of these steps. Um, I'm not sure if you can always be there live, but if if not, uh, again, check it out on YouTube, youtube.com slash Father Roderick. That's where you will find all the videos of this huge Hogwarts build. So we're only a few weeks away from completing this uh, this castle, and it's going to be very, very big. It's, oh, this is just the base of the entire set. So have a wonderful evening, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Take care.